Allah said in the Quran, Inna shani aka huwa al-abtar. Your enemies be cut off. Any, anyone that was a, was a war against Prophet Muhammad والسلام, except you be cut off. And Allah said, وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ And we'll raise your name and raise you high. Anyone that follow Prophet Muhammad وسلم, Allah will raise him. So it's up to you, Muslims or non-Muslims. If you want Allah to raise you, follow Prophet Muhammad وسلم. If you want Allah to humiliate you and you go to the bit of history, oppose Prophet Muhammad وسلم. Allah give you the choice to follow. Yeah, but I have a question again. Okay, no problem. You see, for example, if you see any Muslim countries, yeah. if Islam teach them peace and love, they shouldn't really fight each other. So if you give me an example of few Islamic countries, instead of tolerating each other, they keep on fighting each other. In Algeria, no one fighting. Morocco, no one is fighting. In Saudi, no one is fighting. How come the only country that Muslims are fighting each other the country that was invaded by the Western world. And before that, they were not fighting. The time of Saddam, sorry to cut you, uh, I was watching a program, Shia Christians in Iraq, they are hoping for Saddam to come back. Why? And he, I'm not saying Saddam is perfect, and he had mistakes. May Allah forgive him, okay? But Saddam, he was, he, he was a man that he knew people of Iraq, you have to be strong with them. The people, they were all together. Shia, they say, listen, the time of Saddam, we had schools. Did you know Iraq, the time of Saddam, there were many scientists, yeah, right, yeah. many doctors. Right. Do you know how many doctors now in the Western world, they're yeah. from Iraq? You see, this Bush, he said, we're coming to save Iraqis. No, you're a liar, biggest terrorist. You destroyed Iraq. And five Iraqis went to university in every family. Three out of Iraq, 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 very, like in, uh, when, the, when, the, when the Algerians took back Algeria from the French, the Iraqis came to teach us Arabic and the Egyptians, you know? So the point here, let me come back. How come the only place the Muslims are fighting each other, the place when the Western world came and invaded it? In Algeria, we have Sufis, we have uh, other sects, and we don't fight each other. We live in harmony. Yes, we don't accept their belief. They don't accept our belief. In Saudi, in Egypt, there's Christians. There is uh, 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 there's Sufis, there's even Shia in uh, what they call it in Morocco. There's Jewish people. So why I, I was watching the commentary, some Yahudi from Morocco they went to is so-called Israel, so-called Israel. They accept them, Achai, and they say we want to go back to the Maghreb because there we had a good family, good friends. So they understand that. So Islam teach you mercy and peace. Again, what is peace? Peace does not mean. If someone slap me, give him the other chick. Because sometimes in order for me to establish peace, you have to wage a war. Do you agree with that? That's why it's the, the war in Islam is a praiseworthy war, which is the war to remove oppression in order to establish peace. Yeah, but the Muslim nations has to come together. They have to, they have to become one united because like... They have to become Manchester united. Huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> the same like in Iraq or Syria, the foreign forces, they just went and destroyed the country. But instead, they should come together. I agree. They help one another. Do you know why they're splitting? Tell me. Prophet Muhammad wasalam, taught us a disease. Where is disease? Splitting. The cure is for, for us to follow the Quran and the Sunnah. So the, the problem is not with Islam. The problem with some Muslims they, they, they like to follow their desires and their cultures. But Islam, Salaam alaikum wa Good, yeah? So Islam, Allah told us, if you want to be united, All of you hold to the rope of Allah and do not split. When the Muslim practice Islam correctly, at the time of the companions and their students, Islam spread far east and far west. Because they were united. Why? Because they go back to Quran and Sunnah. You understand? Yeah. But can I ask you a question? Because hmm? you asked me a few questions. Can I ask you a question? God. Are you Christian? No. Why? are you? No, what do you believe? No, no belief. You believe in God? Mm, no. So you believe this universe... Uh... I, I don't know. It's, it's beyond my own understanding. No, it's not. You are, no, no, it's not. It's not, it's not. You have intellect. Go, look. God limited. Get... limited. Yeah, it is limited. Yes. But your intellect is sufficient to give you certainty and your uh, natural inclination to know this tremendous and beautiful universe, the way it's been programmed and organized, cannot come by chance. Mm -hmm. You with me? 
I can make it it's very simple. I like to use the phone, okay? There you go. Don't break it. All right. This doesn't break, brother. My head will break in time. Mashallah. This phone, when you, like, you know, there's touch screen design. Okay. If I tell you this phone was made by someone doesn't know how to make a phone, would you accept that? Yeah, this is designed by someone who is expert. Expert. So you have to have a knowledge? For, for this, yeah. For to make a phone, okay. Now this person has knowledge, but he doesn't have the ability. He's completely paralyzed. Would he be able to make the phone? Uh, if he's... Completely paralyzed. If he cannot think, you mean? If he cannot. If he doesn't have the power, the ability, can he make a phone? No. He can't. no. So you need ability, you need knowledge, okay? Now he has the ability, he has the knowledge, but he doesn't have the will. He doesn't want to do it. Would he do it? I mean, no. He has half a will, okay? So this is just a small phone on a small scale. Which one is greater, the phone or your eyes and yourself? Probably my eyes and myself. So Allah said in the Quran, هَلْ أَتَى عَلَى الْإِنسَانِ حِينٌ مِّنَ الدَّهْرِ لَمْ يَكُنْ شَيْءًا مَذْكُورًا Have the, the man think or thought of there was a time, there, there, was a, there was a time when a man was not worth of mentioning. Now you have a sight, you have a hearing, you have abilities. So in order for you to possess that, it has to come from someone who is able, has knowledge, has a power. That's why how you prove the creator of this tremendous creation. That's why Allah said in the Quran, Within yourselves, there is a science for the, the, the existence of the creator. Would you not reflect? Like, look, you can see clearly we are organized and uh, designed. We have a nose next to our mouth. Yeah. Before we eat, we smell food. Yes. We have a teeth in our mouth. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we chew with our mouth. We have a jaw in our elbows in order for us to move it back and forth. Right. You know, we have eyebrows above our eyes to protect from the sweat because the sweat contains the salt. Oh. If it keeps going to our eyes, we'll damage it. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me us, we came by chance or by nothing? No, no, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying like, uh, I'll give you by uh, a chance or by nothing, a phone which is way lesser, way, way lesser, must have a creator who possess knowledge, possess power. And this Allah has summarized this argument in the Quran. Allah said, Am khuliqu min ghayri shay'in, am hum al khaliqoon, am khalaqu samawati wal arda bal la yuqinun. Allah said, would they create by nothing? So Allah has given us what? Probabilities for human beings to think. Now let us ask, what's your name, sorry? World Ab. World Ab, yeah, my name is Shamsi. Nice to meet you, World Ab, yeah? So Allah saying, the first option, would they create by nothing? Nothing is not even a thing, let alone to create something. It would be, nothing, so so this one, put it in the bin. Right. Oh, you create your own self. That's contradiction, because why? If you, if you already exist, you don't have to create yourself, you already exist. And if you do not exist, if you are not existence, then you need something else to bring you into existence. You see? Or oh, did they create the heavens and the earth? Surely they have no firm belief. So what is left? We have, we have to have a creator. It's a logical, rational argument. Yeah, from from, from the belief point of view, the world is, the universe, everything is so complex, the human being cannot understand it. It's too beyond our own understanding. It's so complex. So from from belief point of view, uh, of, uh, view of course, you can say there is some kind of power. You can call him Allah or God, whatever. From your own point of belief or the holy books, yes. But no, no, I'm, no, no. It's beyond our own understanding. I'm not talking about belief. I'm, I'm, why use a logical argument? Yusuf, were you created by nothing? I, I, I don't know how I am created. No, would you create by nothing? But it's beyond my own understanding. Nothing, Brother, you, nothing cannot give you life. It's complex. So complex. No, no, come on, it's be complex. honest. Okay, let me ask you. Who gave you life? To begin with? Yeah. Well, of course, I came from my mom and my mother, but still, who gave them birth? I don't know. It's just so no, even I speak to your mother. So your mother and your father gave you life. Right. Okay? So they were able to give you life. Okay? But how come when you die, how come they cry? 
Why they cannot give you life again if it was up to them in the beginning? That's my time limit. I have a body clock. Yeah. No, it's not because why? So if I'm able, if I'm able to make this phone, I can make again. You but can, because yeah. because it was not me who to make. I mean, let me make clear to you. Your father and your mother are asbab reasons. Right. For example, me standing up in a room, switching the lights, and the light. I mean, the the, the, the button, and the light comes on. I'm not the one who made the lights. I'm just mean to the means to turn the lights on. But the one who created the light is outside me. Okay? okay? So that's my point. My point is that what I've mentioned to you is has nothing to do with no one's belief. This argument called logical intellectual argument, right, right, which right. God gave us. <laughs> Either you create by nothing, or you create your own self, or you create the heavens and the earth. All of that is not true. What is left must have a creator. It could be, but it's beyond my own understanding that. I'm not, I understand, look, the creator is our beyond, beyond our understanding, yeah, okay. Can you understand? I, I understand that. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, that's how I'm coming to it. I'm not talking about, look, I don't know everything about the one who made the camera, but that does not negate the camera was made by someone. For sure, you we see? can tell that. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So me not knowing everything about the creator does not necessitate that I have to know everything about the creator for me to accept he made it. That is digressing from the main point. The main point here, we have to, is intellectual, we cannot escape it. Right. Either you create by nothing, or you create yourself, or you create this universe. Or the, all of us, including the, uh, the universe, including ourselves, must have a creator. As for knowing a creator about him, about him in detail, then that's of course beyond our understanding, but we can analyze and we can see the creator is the most wise. Therefore, the most wise creator will not create the creation without any purpose. Make sense? Yes? That's why based upon the creator's wisdom and his mercy, how do we know the creator is merciful? The fact that we have a rain. If there is no rain, we have no food. 